Okay, so next to look at some um, kind of equations uh, using trig identities. Here's the first one: uh, arc tan half plus arc tan of a third equals pi over four. Um, it's a little bit tricky this, unless you've seen this uh, method before. Uh, that the the rule that we're going to be using is tan x plus y uh, is equal to tan x plus tan y all over 1 minus tan x tan y um, so that's the, the formula that we need to be using now here's the trick we say that we let x equal arc tan of one half And this therefore means that tan x is equal to one half. Okay, so remember um, we're just basically in effect kind of I suppose you could think of it as like tan on both sides. So tan x equals a half. And we do exactly the same thing for the one. Let's let y equal to arc tan of one third, therefore tan y equals one third. Okay, so once we've got that little trick, um, we can now work out the, the remaining part. So we can work out that tan x plus y, well, that's going to be equal to, well, tan x is a half, so we've got a half plus a third over one minus a half times by one third and if we do work all that out we find out that that is equal to one okay so therefore if we want to find out what x plus y is equal to well if we know that tan x plus y is equal to one x plus y equals arc tan of 1 and arc tan of 1 is pi over 4. That's quite a lot of work just for two marks that. Um, the next bit says hence or otherwise find the value of arc tan 2 plus arc tan 3. This is important hence or otherwise. I think in this particular case it's it's easier to just use the or otherwise. We don't need to use that previous result to work out the next bit. So let's just do exactly the same as before. Um, so we want arc tan 2 plus arc tan 3. So if arc tan 2, we've got arc tan 3. So as before, let's label that as x and that as y. So therefore we end up with tan x equals 2 and tan y is equal to 3 and using the same method as before tan x plus y is equal to tan x plus tan y all over 1 minus tan x tan y and this is going to give me uh, this particular time Uh, 2 plus 3 all over 1 minus 2 times 3 and that, this time it's going to give me an answer of minus 1. Okay so as before I've got tan x plus y is equal to, to minus 1. If I then inverse or arc tan both sides I'm going to get um, x plus y equals arc tan minus 1. Um, and I'll notice if I, if I actually work out this value here, um, I'll end up with uh, a negative answer. Um, so to find 
uh, the positive answer, the answer that I want, I'm just going to have to add 180 degrees or, or pi onto that. Um, and that's just because if you think of the tan graph, like that, it's got a repeating unit of, of pi. Okay, so if I if I add pi to my arc tan of minus one, uh, I will actually end up with three pi over four. So there we go, x plus y equals three pi over four. Okay, and then the last question, um, we've got an obtuse angle. Okay, so whenever you do this kind of question, just do a little sketch the cast diagram. So this is the first quadrant, so everything's positive in the first quadrant. Second quadrant, that's where we are because it's obtuse. So in the second quadrant, only sine is positive, um, and this is only tan positive, and this is only cos positive. So we know that sine is going to be positive. Um, I'm going to sketch my triangle. So this is my triangle here. Um, if I'm using, if I'd used previously tan theta, remember that tan theta is opposite over adjacent so therefore I label that as theta or my opposite is going to be 5 my adjacent is going to be 12 and there I can then work out what the, the hypotenuse is just using Pythagoras of the if I use 5 squared plus 12 squared square root it we're going to get 13. So this is the triangle that I'm going to be using. Um, now I've got that, I can actually say, well, if I want sine of an angle, well, sine theta is going to be op of a height. So therefore, sine theta is opposite which is 5 over hype, which is 13. OK, and that's it, because it's it's positive in the second quadrant, so my answer is 5 over 13. OK, that's my first one. Um, next, look at cos b, or cos, cos theta. Is adjacent over hypotenuse cos theta adjacent, which is 12, 13, so that's going to be 12 over 13, um, but this time um, I need to be careful because it's the second quadrant, it's only sine is positive in the second quadrant, therefore that's going to be minus 12 over 13. Okay, for part C, I want to find out what sine 2b is equal to, well I use the, the, one of the double angle formulas, sine 2b is equal to 2 sine b times by cos b, well I've already worked out all these already, so that's going to be 2 and sine b is 5 over 13 times by cos b and that was minus 12 over 13, uh, which will give me minus 120 over 169. And then the last one I want to find cos 2b. So cos 2b is equal to 2 cos squared b take away 1. Again, I'd already worked out what uh, cos b is equal to, so that's going to be 2 lots of this be minus 12 over 13 squared minus 1. And again, if I work that out, I'm going to end up with 119 over 169.